I think it's important to understand what we've heard this morning through the testimony. We've now got confirmation after uh, several rounds of questions that the NDP were invited and provided briefings with the Liberals in advance of changing proposed changes to Canada's election laws. And I can clarify, I'm pretty sure Conservatives were not invited to those briefings or the Bloc Québécois were not invited to those briefings. Canadians would be very surprised, should be very surprised, stunned at the fact that we have two political parties denied at first to work behind the scenes and then we found out they were provided information briefings. We're going to find out who was at those meetings when they took place because it's completely unacceptable now for the NDP to say there's problems that problematic parts of the bill. This proves what we heard this morning, that they were absolutely complicit and aware and agreed to the bill that was proposed, specifically the change of the election date that did nothing more to save and preserve their pensions. The NDP leader is going to get his pension in January or February of 2025. That's why he doesn't want to have an election now. But they complain that now it's problematic. It's only problematic for the NDP now because they got caught this morning. They were fully aware of what was happening. They knew what was in the bill, and it was only the backlash that they got rightfully from Canadians that all of a sudden now that they deem this problematic. The other part that I think is important to learn this morning is the rationale for the date change. And the arguments that were made about I'm trying to understand what the rationale was, moving the date had to be moved back a week to October 27th, couldn't be moved ahead. Had to be moved back to conflict with a cult, so it didn't conflict with a cultural uh, event uh, with Diwali, but instead now conflicts would conflict with a territorial election. But here's the interesting thing: is that we didn't want to move it ahead to conflict or break with the summer was the line. Yet the prime minister had no problem calling an election in the middle of August 2021 when it seemed opportunistic and advantageous for him. So I think this morning we've heard all the reasons, confirmation that the NDP were in on this all along. And secondly, the, uh, the rationale that the Liberals and the NDP are desperately trying to spin away was exposed. The date was moved not for any cultural event. It was moved for purely political purposes in terms of the pension protection of Liberal and NDP. Look, Conservatives want an election now. I'm not worried about my pension or anybody else's pension. I'm worried about Canadians. And I think what we've seen today, a confirmation, many opportunities for some sort of clarification or rationale, it remains crystal clear. The cynical attempt by the Liberals and NDP to protect their pensions, claim something else, just disintegrated at this committee this morning. That's all I have.